All right, my culinary friends, it's time to master the art of a poached egg, a skill as valuable as any in the kitchen. So to kick things off, you want to check how fresh your eggs are. A quick sink or swim test in a bowl of water will do. If they sink and lay flat, you've got yourself some prime poaching candidates. Ah, what if it's a half floater, eh? If the egg floats halfway, it's likely not super fresh, but not bad either. You could still use it for other cooking methods like scrambled or boiling. But for poaching, we aim for nothing but the best. If your egg is bobbing on the surface like a cork, I hate to break it to you, but that's one egg you don't want to invite to your poaching party. For that dreamy, perfect poached egg, you want the freshest egg possible. And that means an egg that sinks and lays flat on the bottom of the bowl or glass of water. So remember, if your egg is doing a half float, it's not the first draft pick for poaching, but could be a solid backup for other cooking plays. Keep your standards high and your eggs fresher than the morning breeze. Now onto the poaching. Fill a deep saucepan with water and bring it to a gentle simmer. The depth of your pot is not a trivial matter. It's crucial for poaching perfection. Offer a deep saucepan rather than a shallow frying pan. And I can hear you asking, why Simon? Well, in a deep pot, the egg has room to drift and shape itself into that beautiful round form that distinguishes a professionally poached egg. In a shallow pan, however, the egg tends to sprawl out, becoming more of a fried egg wannabe than a poached delicacy. So the depth is key. Think of it as giving your eggs the space to become their best selves. Avoid bringing your water to a rolling boil. We're not hosting a rock concert in there. What you want is water that's doing a slow waltz, not a head banging mosh pit. Remember folks, boiling water is like a bull in a china shop for your delicate eggs. You want the water to be gently bubbling, just enough to give it some life, but not so much that it tosses your egg around like a rag doll. Also, a word on seasoning, salt. Hell no, we don't put salt in the water. Salt can turn your egg into a stringy, rubbery mess. So let's keep it out of this party. Vinegar, if you have fresh eggs, skip it. I don't know about you, but vinegar flavoured eggs aren't my cup of tea. If your eggs are a bit on the older side, a splash can help coagulate the egg whites. But go easy, too much makes the eggs tough. Here's another don't for you. Don't crack your egg directly into the pot. It's a rookie mistake. Crack it into a small bowl or ramekin first. This gives you better control and prevents rogue shell fragments from making their way into your water. Slide that egg in and let it swim. Ah, the age old debate, a vortex or not to vortex? Now, a vortex can be useful for wrapping the egg white around the yolk, giving you a nicely shaped poached egg. It's like wrapping the egg in a cozy blanket of its own white. However, if you've got multiple eggs to poach, or if you're not confident with your swirling skills, you could end up with a tangled mess. My bird, reserve the vortex for single egg endeavors, and when you've got a handle on your swirling technique, otherwise the gentle simmer of the water should do the job just fine, especially with a fresh egg. Cooking times, you've got this. Three minutes for a runny yolk, four minutes for a more set but still gooey yolk, six minutes for a fully set yolk. When it's time to retrieve your masterpiece, employ a slotted spoon and let it have a moment on a clean dry tea towel. There's nothing worse than a soggy toast, am I right? Let me know in the comments what you think. Ah, seasoning. The final magical touch to a perfectly poached egg. Most people reach for the usual salt and pepper, and while there's nothing wrong with that, 
why not elevate the experience for an unexpected twist? I love to use Fukaki seasoning, a Japanese blend of sesame seeds, seaweed and spices. If you're in a pinch a high quality flaky salt and freshly ground black pepper will do just fine. But hey, let's not stop there, right? Imagine taking your taste buds on a journey with an exotic Indian or Moroccan spice sprinkled over the top. Or even giving the egg a smoky allure with a dash of smoked paprika. With the right seasoning, your humble poached egg transforms into a culinary masterpiece. So there you have it, your ultimate guide to the perfect poached egg, a la Simon Gold. Happy poaching my friends, may your yolks be runny and your whites be like a cloud.